What's going on, everyone? Today, I want to show you a super cool GPT that I finally created, and it, it scrapes Instagram profile information and all types of stuff from Instagram with real-time data. And this thing is an absolute beast, so I definitely want you to check this out. It's called Insta Scrape API. Before I go into this and show you exactly how this works, I'm going to go ahead and show you the back end, show you how I created this, kind of give you an overview of how many functions are involved with this, with API actions and everything like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to come in here and I'm just going to go to edit GPT, show you guys that I actually created this GPT. And from here, you can see it looks like a pretty basic GPT that people create, you know, with their description, instructions, stuff like that. But this is where all the fun is at. So if we go on to the actions, usually people are used to having GPTs that have just a few actions, maybe one action or something very simple. This schema is massive, okay? So I've been building this entire schema out and I want to show you exactly what the schema actually does. Okay. So see how big that schema is. If we come down here to the available actions, these are all the post methods that is written in the schema. So if you can see here, this is all for Instagram scraping, you know, search profiles, get user info by username, get user info by ID, get user media, get user clips, get user guides, get user tags, get user followers. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. So there is a ton and ton of different actions in this GPT. So just want to show you guys this really quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and do like a quick demo on how this GPT works and how you can use it, you know, for any kind of reason that you're looking for really. But uh, a lot of people like to scrape Instagram for, you know, business leads, stuff like that. Today, I'm just going to show you some general ways of using this and then I'm going to make it pretty short. So what we'll do, I'm just going to update and then we're going to go into this GPT. Let's go over here. <clears throat> Let me get rid of the sidebar so you guys can see it a little better here. All right, so here we are, Insta Scrape API. So I did have it called Instagram Scraper API, but ChatGPT does not allow you to use like trademark names or anything like that. So they actually kicked it back and said you can't publish it like that. What we're going to start off doing is going ahead and just kind of starting a conversation with this. We're going to say, can you tell me all of your functions? And right here, we're just going to go into the functions of this GPT um, and how it uses endpoints to search real-time data of these Instagram profiles. So you can see here, it can search for Instagram profiles. We already kind of talked about this in the schema. Um, it can get Instagram user info by username, get Instagram user info by ID, get media by Instagram user ID, get clips by Instagram user ID, get guides by Instagram user ID. It just keeps going on and on and on. Get following by Instagram user ID, get highlights by Instagram user ID. There is a ton of stuff that this can do, okay? So let's just get into it. Let's just do something very, very basic. But a lot of people use this for, you know, lead generation, stuff like that. It is a very awesome system on how this works. You know, you don't have to go and search manually for these profiles anymore to be able to reach out and do stuff like that or gain insights on their profiles. So what we can do is just we could just say, find me the top three profiles about fishing or something like that. Let's see if that works. Oh, there we go. We'll just do fishing. It's asking me for a search name pretty much. So I just said phishing, you know, we can click confirm. This is asking to call the API. It's now starting the action. As you can see, it talked to the API. And then here we go. It says here are the top three Instagram profiles related to phishing. And it's going to give us their profile that we can click. So you can see here. Here's a profile about fishing. Garrett Galvin. Fish and Garrett, 6.9 million followers. Okay. Here we have another one that gave us just three. You know, you can ask us to do as many as you want. There's another person that has a lot of followers. Okay, so then what we can do on top of this, we can take, we can ask other questions like who does fishing, who does fishing with ace interact with the most on their instagram go ahead and send the actions and it's called the api again start scraping again let 
And there you go. It says fishing with Ace interacts with most frequently with the Instagram profile. So it looks like they interact with this profile a lot. Where did you find that data? Okay, so then it just says, I retrieve the data from the Instagram API. Specifically, I use the get following by Instagram user ID function, which provided a list of accounts that phishing with Ace follows. Phishing with Ace interacts with the most was identified based on this data. Okay. What other data can you pull from this profile? And you know, you don't have to do this one by one. You can do this in bulk. You don't have to like, you know, keep talking about the same profile. If you're looking for this to actually do bulk scraping and stuff like that, then that would be the way to go. So then we can do these searches by user ID. Since we don't have, you know, phishing with ACE user ID. Actually, let's see if the GPT is smart enough to actually go ahead and figure out the ID without us even inputting the ID. Let's do... Let's do get following by Instagram ID. Get the following for, oop, we're not gonna do that one. We're gonna do fishing with ace. And then this is pretty cool because when you get someone's following, you can see the people that are actually interested in you know, following for certain reasons, say for phishing wise. So you had an offer with phishing. What you could do is you go in here and scrape all the data of their followers who are already interested with, you know, themes of phishing, et cetera. And then you can go ahead and reach out to them with your products and all other types of things. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with this. Okay. It's trying to give me profile pictures. The profile pictures aren't coming back for some reason. I think it's something to do with the binary data in uh, the GPT, but um, right now it's going ahead and giving us his followers. What we're going to do, we're going to stop this and we're going to just say, just give me the clickable links for the followers pages. Don't give me an image. Make it speed up a little bit because what it's trying to do is write that profile image using a image URL. There we go. So it's just going to keep on going. It just gave us 10. I need 50 more. Let's just see if it can handle 50 more. Go ahead and confirm it. Starting the action may take a little longer since it's going to scrape a little more data. It's actually giving us the profiles that he follows. And you can do this the reverse way too. You can ask for his followers and we'll do that next. You can see this is a powerhouse and you can click on all these and it'll take you right to their pages. There you go, see, let's go ahead and stop this. What we're gonna say is find me fishing with ace. All right, actually we're gonna just say, find me people who follow fishing with ace. Go ahead and start the action, click confirm. I have another one coming out as well that is not an Instagram scraper, but is a LinkedIn scraper where you can scrape LinkedIn business information, stuff like that as well. And here's the profiles that follow Fishing with Ace. There's 10 there. Give me a list of 25 more. You know, you can just keep messing with this, get all the information you need all day. You know, we've only went through like four actions of this GPT when there's 28 of them or 27 of them. Here, it's going to give us a list of 25 more profiles that follow Fishing with Ace. Let's see, let me close out these tabs. Now, I'll let you think and realize what you can use this for. You know, I'm not going to go into detail and show you every use case for this, but there is a lot of use cases for this and it works very well. So 
yeah, I just want to kind of keep this video a little short. So I, I'll just go through these few functions like I did, kind of show you how it works. But you're more than welcome to try this GPT out. Um, I'm not sure if all these free users of chat GPT have access to GPTs yet, but I know here coming in a few weeks, um, everyone should have access to use GPTs completely free. You won't have to have a chat GPT plus subscription to use stuff like this anymore. But I know some people have access, some people don't. So if you don't, hold tight, it'll be there. But if you do, go ahead and try this out and I think you guys will really appreciate it. So thanks everyone for watching these videos. I'm going to keep this one short too. And I appreciate everyone's feedback and everything you guys uh, do. Thank you.